don't mind, can hey, 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 crowd, if y'all don't mind, because I, I like to, I like my words. My words are real powerful. So I know um, the enemy likes my words to be ignored. So I'm gonna ask um, that you can give me your attention because. Um, I didn't know what I was going to talk about, and so I normally don't until I get up here. Um, but I want to say, you know, when it's a celebrity on the flyer, we go crazy. Um, but it's people that's here that send messages that we ignore. And that's why I said it, I'm, not, I'm not a celebrity-driven person um, because I understand my worth and I know my life. But I will say, when I listen to a message that someone's trying to send, and I know the enemy likes to destroy for us to ignore it because we're perishing, because we're so confused as a culture. So I, I really respect the messages that people um, have platforms that they have to use and get outside of their character just for us to get, to get our attention. And so there's nothing better than a message that's being sent across for children. Because I have a seven-year-old son and I every day worry about where his future will be because I'm the last standard generation that understands morals and understands what my grandparents um, talked about and understands that music, Marvin Gaye, and that all of those things really meant something to me. But my son don't know a Marvin Gaye song. He doesn't know about the things that's going on. So that's why I said shout out to Charleston White. So if you don't know, you might want to go listen to some of those messages. He's not just an angry man. He's trying to send a message across. And so that's why I say that, and I salute you, brother, because it is a great message that you're sending. Um, but anyway, um, when April, when we spoke, uh, we're good friends. And so I thought that the message that I would like to send across tonight, because entrepreneurship is the new thing. Since 2020, it just really birthed a lot of things in us, right? And so with that said, I'm, I'm all about... If you don't know who you are, you don't know where you're going. And one uh, community activist, that's why at times it seemed like I was angry. Uh, I was angry at the conditions. So there was no hate in my heart. Uh, my prayer to God was God, don't let my heart be hardened toward my own people. So I created a character after seeing the movie Dolomite. So with that being said, uh, I just got an exclusive deal uh, with a state agency to, for my program to be taught in juvenile detention center. Yeah. So uh, I ain't gotta play that character no more. With that being said, uh, y'all enjoy the night. <laughs> Make some noise for Charles DeWay! Man, that's crazy. Cause this man started doing videos saying what he wanted and started blowing up. And so we know what he doing, man. Stop playing. All right, y'all, we gonna bring up. The thing about it is your life should be built on two things. I speak the story of, cause everybody's talking about boss and get into the bag. I talk about the things, how you sustain that when you don't have the bag. You know what I'm saying? See, my story is a little different from the average woman my age. And so with that said, I, I, I've been at the top and I've lost it all. So I had to come back to tell the story. What do you do when you don't have it? How do you sustain your character when you don't have anything? When life is more than just money, and so with that said, as I rebuilt my brand, and now I'm a women's entrepreneur um, speaker, and I also have an online clothing brand, but as I rebuilt myself, what I learned is foundation is the one thing that kept me uh, when I walked into the federal prison system that we don't really, really have knowledge about. And so I learned more about the entity and what was going on. And so with that said, when I built my brand again, I started linking with people that were a part of my future and where I was going. And so the message that I wanted to send across to you tonight is the message of what you do to sustain who you are when you don't have money, when there's not a celebrity tied to it and you keep going. And so I'm an entrepreneur that believes your circle, you should be, your, your life should be made up of two circles. One should be the foundation of friends that you grew up with, that know you, that can always push you and be your silent cheerleader, like the ones I have in this room that's standing here with their cameras. Those are my friends since sixth grade, seventh grade. They seen the struggle. That's what my circle is made up of, that. So they know where I came from and they know the direction that I'm traveling. But my, my other circle is made up of the people that I admire, the goals that I have set for myself. So your circle, if you're an entrepreneur, I encourage you 
to check your circle, one, your foundation. You always need someone to remind you, you can do it. You remember it was worse then than it is now. You need that. And you need the ones in your house, so that, that's that circle. But then you have your other circle. My other circle is April, Renetta, the women that you hear, the people that are a part of the life that you want to live, the, where, where you're traveling to. And so I thought I would highlight since April is the highlight of tonight, because I don't mind celebrating my sisters, because it is not easy being a black woman in business. I'm telling you, it's not easy. I work for a $4 billion company by day. I wear a hard hat by day. And by night, until 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm distrib distributing online clothing orders. But what I will say is, when I set goals for myself, I looked at April when we met and some things that I noticed about her character, see, because when you set your goals to where you're going, you need to go and find the person that you admire so you can understand their characteristics and understand how to act and what to know when you get in that role. We, we, we're so prideful and so, you know, we think we got it and we've arrived, but we haven't. But don't be so much, so full of yourself that you're, you miss the message. And anyway, the one thing that I can say, April and I, we were going on a, um, a wine tour. And this is the one thing about the boss that, you know, we see boss in the bag and all that, but this is the part about the boss that you guys gotta remember that it takes. Um, it was storming that day. And there was a like a tornado in Grapevine. And my husband called me, he said, hey, y'all are supposed to be getting together going on this wine tour. Um, but it was a tornado on 114. So I, myself, in the group, April was texting saying, hey, we're going to meet up at this time. I said, I'm thinking like, dang, we're not going to go because it's a tornado. I think I may wait till April text and we're not going to make it. And Renetta said, I don't know, it's raining my way. But the one thing that I learned about her character, because I admire people from afar and I look and see the things that they have to do and the necessary moves they have to make to be in the positions they're in. What I noticed is when I thought we were canceling the event, April texted in the group and said, I'm here already. So I said, dang, I gotta go. <laughs> I thought it was a tornado. I thought the storm was gonna stop us. But when we got to the event, we were getting on the tour bus and I saw April and she said, I said, um, I didn't get to dress up. You know, I know it was a nice event. She goes, oh, don't worry. I got my, she had on a hoodie and some tennis shoes. And so what I noticed about April is, I said, she's a visionary. I said, excuse me, crowd. I said, April Please. is a visionary. And, uh -huh. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, you are getting some of the most incredible jewels on the stage. She's telling you some stuff that will extremely help you with your profession, with your guidance in your future. So in due respect, especially to the, she's a queen, first of all, so we should never disturb a queen when they speak. So in the back, not the front, because y'all are, you know, respectable, but in the back, can you please hold it down while she does what she do? And before that, just give her a round of applause for what she does yeah. so far. I sat and looked at April, I said, um, gosh, she's a visionary. I said, so what she did was, she went through the storm and the storm passed. And by the time we got there, she wanted to make sure everything was prepared. She said, oh no, I came early. I went through the storm and she wasn't equipped for the occasion, but she was there prior to us while we were all worried about the storm. And I said, that's the character of a visionary. That's the character of someone that goes before the storm to make sure that everyone else is okay. And so I said, only a visionary, I took it somewhere else and I told her this I, on the trip. I said, April, God trusts you. I said, he trusts you because God trusts a visionary. And when God trusts a visionary, they have to follow certain instructions. And so we all wanna be bosses. We all wanna wear the title of a boss. But 
Are you willing to go before and through the storm to make sure everything else that's going to follow is going to be okay? I wasn't even prepared. I said, gosh, I hope she cancels. But only a visionary can seek out. There's a tornado. I didn't say a, a storm. I, a tornado was going on. She went through it. She goes, oh, it's already past me. I'm good. Y'all come on. That is the character of a boss. A boss is not just money. A boss is wealth. And what wealth is, is the things that you hear people speaking about and going on YouTube and going out of their ways. That's They're trying to give you a lifestyle of wealth. And when you've had money and everything's failed you, you have to ask yourself, how do I sustain to get to my next level? And we all in here are trying to get to the next level. And so what I would like to convey to you tonight is, Sustain your life by knowing who you are so you can know where you're going. We can't keep telling. I could tell y'all stories about the money I've counted, the days before federal prison, the days what I had, what I drove. That story don't work. I can't win today's game with yesterday's points. Amen. It's going to take something different today. And us as a culture... What I want to send across is, I said this last year, and a lot has changed in a year. I stood on the stage last year, and I said some words, and now I look at this year, we're, it's the second grand opening of Pink Vibes. So things have changed, and if you're following this vibe, this is a seed planted for your harvest. When you are a part of a good harvest, it is what it is. It can do nothing but grow. So all I want to leave with you, my people, is we are a culture. We've got to stand for something or we're going to continue to fall for anything. I pray that God blesses your life under the sound of my voice that are in the building. I pray that whatever your desires are in your heart, that he meets it. And thank you for having me tonight. And April, congratulations, my sister.